Let's make this AI-themed graphic in three steps. First, click on Icon and type Computer Chip in the search bar. Select the filled-in icon and click on Insert. Next, adjust both height and width to 3 centimeters. With a right click, open the drop-down and select Convert to Shape. Now you can adjust each part of the computer chip individually. Select all of the small lines on each side of the rectangle and delete them. Fill in both of the rectangles with colors to your liking. For the second step, insert a rectangle with rounded corners. Give it a white filling. Resize the shape as shown. Type in your text and adjust color. Text size and writing style in the right side of the toolbar. Go to the Insert tab and click on Icon. Type the word Zoom into the search bar and select the Looking Glass icon. Adjust the filling to fit your color scheme. Resize the icon to one centimeter for both values. Place it in the left corner of your rectangle. Select both shapes and under Arrange, group both. Do a right click on the rectangle shape and select size and position in the drop down. In the menu on the right side, open the text box segment. With the options in your upper toolbar, make sure the text is aligned on the left. To avoid an overlap with the icon, increase the left margin to one centimeter in the menu on the right. Then duplicate the rectangle shape six more times and arrange the shapes around the center icon. In a third step, insert a bended line. Make sure to always use the connection points appearing on the rectangle shapes when positioning it. If a dot turns green, that means you have successfully connected the shapes. With the yellow dots appearing on the line, you can adjust the shape and position of the bend. Then copy-paste the bended line six more times and connect all the other text boxes to your center icon. Insert a straight line and keep it short. Duplicate it two more times and place on the center icon. For more variation, you can also add additional bended lines. Insert a circle shape. Resize it to 0.3 centimeters for both values. Give it a color filling to your liking. Then remove the outline. Now copy-paste and place a circle at the end of each line coming from the center icon. As always, don't forget to group all shapes in the end. For more quick and easy tutorials like this, give us a follow and become a PowerPoint expert in no time.